Hello and welcome to part two of the video series on video editing in Python using MoviePy. Um, in, in the last part, uh, we actually saw that uh, MoviePy package is really, uh, really a powerful package for video editing. Uh, we just uh, described verbally some of the features of it. And then we actually went through some of the features. Uh, we actually implemented some of the features like uh, we read files using video file clips. Then we uh, then we use sub clips. Uh, we rotate. We can rotate the whole video. Um, we also saw how to display a video inside uh, the browser or notebook, or how to save the videos uh, in the hard disk. And also we saw how to overlay text on videos at different positions, or maybe the floating text. Um, in this particular video, um, we are going to look more into the package and we will see how to resize the videos, how to change uh, audio of a video with an other audio. So let's say we have two different clips with two audio, two different audios, how to actually set audio of one video clip to another video clip. And then we will see how to combine multiple videos together to make one video, um, like uh, one video containing uh, different video as parts. So let's dive in. Uh, let's go to our Jupyter Notebook. Uh, that's the code that was for part one. Oh, by the way, there, there was one problem in this uh, code, not the code, uh, actually the spellings of AI sciences. I actually, uh, actually you can write any string here. Um, I, I wrote AI sciences with uh, mistakenly this S is typed in place of C. So in, in part one, you might have seen this uh, S. Now I'm changing that to C just to rectify it. Anyways, this can be any string. This can be any string. Okay, so again, let's uh, let's load the video. Uh, assuming this is already this is already loaded. Let's start that again. Let's start this as part two here. Um, markdown setting. And let's say this is let's the harding part two. Yeah, so part two. So let's begin the part two here. Uh, let's copy this. Yeah, and let's copy some of the clips. Let's copy the clip. Uh, Um, this or maybe we copy its subclip subclip maybe let's copy its subclip with the ending time or maybe we 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 find a clip start that starts from um, that starts from let's say zero hours and one minute and let's say 10 seconds uh, start from there and ends at ends at here. It ends at zero, one and twenty seconds. So let's just pick a twenty second subclip of this clip. And this is done. Now this is clip. Let's display it. Clip dot ipython display um, width equals 280 and it should be displayed very quickly yeah it's a small video clip it's just 10 seconds um, yeah you can see that yeah. okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this uh, clip if you if you just see um, width and height of this clip, dot size if I just print those width and height I get this if I resize this to half let's say uh, clip uh, resized as clip dot um, there are several ways of resizing now one way is to just call the resize function another way is to call the fx function where this fx is to apply any function on any any filter, any function on the clip, and then to call this VFX dot resize the effect, and here you give the new size. 
So yeah, so that's the resized clip. Yeah, uh, here this FX means you are going to apply any function on the clip. And there are several functions that are built in that are there, or you can define your own custom functions just to apply that impact. Now, if we see the clip dot um, size, clip underscore resized dot size, if we now see that, if we can we call it directly in print? Let's see if it works. Yeah. Now it is 240 by 180, which means the it is halved exactly. And now if you display that, um, display that, for example, uh, clip um, resized dot uh, ipython, or you can save that in its original settings, um, it will be displayed um, in its current setting, yeah. So, so you can resize, you can flip, you can rotate, whatever. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the audio of one clip to the audio of the other clip. So I'm changing the audio of one clip to the audio with the audio of another clip. So let's see. So let's have another clip. We have several clips here uh, in our, let's have another clip, control C. Let's have another clip. Let me call it as clip two. So let me so let me call it clip two, and let's say it is um, three video three. Uh, let's just see it. Let's see the clip two. Dot ipython display width equals let's say two eighty, and let's see how it goes. So that's the. That's the um, clip two. Yeah, 10 seconds of it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm setting the audio of clip one um, to the audio of clip two. So that's what I'm going to do. So basically clip, let me call it as clip three is equal to clip, um, so clip two dot set audio set audio and where do you want to get the audio so let's say I want to get the audio from clip so what happens is and, and let's say that save to clip three so so what happens is now the audio of clip two uh, has been changed with the audio of clip the original clip the the Charles Chaplin's clip and the result is saved in clip three, or you can save that result in clip two directly to just change it. Now let's um, go and dis display it with um, width as 280. So let's see what happens. Um, now you can listen that um, if you're listening, um, I mean, the, 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 the audio is taken from the other clip and the video is taken from this. And um, should I mention that um, this, is, this is a kind of TikTok, yeah? Uh, you, can, you can pick video from somewhere else, audio from somewhere else, just combine them together and make your video, no problem. Okay, uh, next we are going to uh, actually combine several videos together uh, in several different ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine uh, clip uh, one with basically uh, clip. Uh, uh, so I'm basically going to combine this different kind of clips together. We have clip one and clip two. And what I'm going to, basically I have clip one and clip two and I'm going to combine them together to let's say clip four. Clip four is um, equal to, let's say, concatenate, uh, concatenate, concatenate video clips. And here we have uh, two video clips, for example, one is clip and the other is clip two. And what happens is, um, 
it will combine the two clips together in clip 4 and clip 4 will be a longer version where it will first have the clip 1 and then we'll be having a clip 2 version of it so that and now if I display clip 4 dot ipython display with width let's say 280 um, it should show the result so let's see that's the embedding this is uh, a little longer as it has combined the two videos together so that's the first video um, and then we will be having the second video right after it oh what happens the second video got got a problem what is this what is happening in the second video so let's 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 have another let's have an let's combine with clip uh, three and clip two maybe we have this but anyways it, it should not have these problem the the two videos they should be combined together very i mean so let's see that's video one after 10 seconds it should switch to another video which is uh, clip three yeah so that's the other video which is clip three so I guess uh, there may be a size problem one video is of different size and another video of different size and you're combining them together so let's check the sizes I guess there is a there is a problem with size in this concatenate clips so we have clip one clip dot size let's print it up and then we have this clip two dot size that's this print clip two dot size yeah the sizes are different so the concatenation has problem so the initial version where we will be where we where we were having clip and clip two were having size problem uh, however this problem may not be there if we have uh, if, we, if we use for example a different way of combining the clips we can combine the clips using for example clips array rather than concatenate um, so and, and we can have we can have multiple videos so let's have for example some of the videos we we have we have for example clip one uh, clip two and clip three so let's combine them together let's say the um, let's have a clip um, five equals to clip um, three or clip four dot fx and let's have vfx dot mirror that's a y that will just flip the flip the whole clip now what we do is uh, we have several clips we have clip clip 2 clip 3 clip 4 and clip 5 let's let's combine them together let's say final clip final clip is clips array and here we combine uh, different clips together so that's our array the first we have clip and then we have clip clip 2 and in the second uh, row that's a matrix we have clip uh, let's say 3 and we have clip clip 5 let's say yeah so that will combine even if you have different sizes uh, it will actually combine all the clips together. Oh, I have missed something. This array like, yeah. So it will combine the different clips together even if they have different sizes. Um, and the combination will be in this particular matrix form. So the top left corner of the video will take this clip. Then we have this clip like the first row. That's the second row of clips. Um, and all the four clips, they will be played simultaneously and the audios they will also be playing uh, overlaid on each other and you will be listening to all the audios uh, kind of an average audio so let's see if it works yeah uh, so now I'm going to render this um, for IPython display or maybe l l let's save it on hard disk uh, let's save it on hard disk so write write video file and let's have the name of this file as um, some
so yeah so we have let's say um, clips array result so yeah it may take some time so let's wait for it um, yeah it is taking some time so let's wait for it um, so till then until this is um, completing what it will do is uh, it will make a matrix form of the it will make a two by two matrix of these uh, four clips and all the four clips they will be simultaneously placed inside a bigger screen um, there is another class called the um, uh, composite video uh, file which is much more powerful uh, much more powerful than uh, this clips array and um, we'll be seeing that next in the in the in the same part but this is done now let's see that in our clips array result clips array results so that's the clips array results let's display it so yeah The reason you're listening to just uh, so so that was a lengthier that was a lengthier clip um, that was a lengthier clip in time so it stays and the rest of the clips they actually uh, went so yeah so basically you can have different sizes you can have different sizes different frame sizes and different time lengths and this uh, clip array will basically work in that as well now uh, next what we do is we basically go to um, composite clip and what we'll be doing is we will be playing a video and another video will be appearing on that video the original video in a fade in version and will float like a text is floating on the video so that's what we are going to do next um, so what we do is basically um, yeah so what we do is basically we um, we load some clips. Uh, let's let's rename everything. Clip. Um, we we already have clips, so why don't we just uh, we have clip one, clip two, and we have clip three. That's uh, our clip. So let's use resized clip. And float that clip on to some other clip let's say clip 5 so what we do is really final clip 2 is uh, composite video file video clip composite video clip and in that what we do is we have some clip let's say clip 5 maybe uh, that's our first clip now the next clip will be played on top of this if we really want if if the next clip have a different size then the both will start automatically at the same time if the next clip is of the same size then it has an effect of concatenation uh, further the next clip can be specified to uh, appear in a particular position so for example clip uh, resized um, clip resized dot uh, set position dot set position and here we can set the position like um, we can set the position like um, horizontally it should be horizontally it should be right and vertically it should be on top um, and that's it and next we can set the start of it set start set start after let's say after let's say five seconds of the original clip so what happens is this uh, particular clip will appear on the original clip right five right after five seconds at this particular position of the screen so let's do that and then we will make this floating then what we'll do is we will make this uh, this position as a variable in time and we will also see some fade in fade out effects so let's first do it um, and see it dot ipython display let's display it here width is let's say 280 let's see it 
will take some time. It's building. Yeah, come on. Why are you not working? Yeah, it's working. Yeah, so uh, it, it will take some time because it is combining different clips together. It will take some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm pausing the video, this particular video. And once this rendering will be done, I'll, I'll get back to it just to just to reduce the time. So, okay, so the rendering is done. So let's see how it goes. So here we have this video. And after five seconds, the other video will appear like here, as you can see here. And both are working right now. Yeah. Yeah. So what we can do now is we can set the position of uh, this particular video as, as floating. Not only that, we can also set the fade in, fade out effects right now, right here. So what we do uh, here is we are going to set the position uh, like lambda t. And now here uh, we set the positions to be floating. Let's say, um, let's say we have um, five times T and five times T. Um, so it will it will start from the from the top left corner and then we will start moving on. And then we can also set some fading effects. So like cross fade in. How much for how many seconds it should fade? So for example, it should fade for let's say three seconds. So what happened now? It, what will happen now is it will start after five seconds and it will f it will appear as a fading fading effect for three seconds but then it will start uh, moving on the screen like so so let's see how it goes uh, it may may it may take some time so rendering so again I'm pausing the video and it'll get back once it is done okay so it has been rendered so let's see how it goes now um, as you will see, it will appear now in a fade form, yeah? And now it, it is moving on the screen. As you can see, it is moving on the screen now. Yeah, you can, you can, you can speed up this movement uh, just by having this uh, parameter, just param this parameter increased by a certain value, for example, 15 and 15. Um, So here it is rendered again, where the speed of the movement will be a little larger now. So yeah, the image is, the, the, the other video appears and now it is moving on the screen. Yeah. Not just this uh, one clip, we can have another clip, for example, uh, in, the same, in the same way we can have a different clip, for example, we can have another clip with um, with speed maybe faster than um, this um, clip resized. So let's have another clip clip resized dot fx vfx dot speed x as double. So that's our clip. Um, we can set its start at the very beginning and maybe we set its position set position as um, as the right and top and we do not do the fading effect here so it starts right with this clip and once once this clip will start uh, it may go on it it may end because uh, the, the the speed we actually do doubles the speed we actually double the speed so let's see we have now three clips together um, again okay it is rendered so here is the result uh, as you can see this has a bigger speed but now this appears and you can hold on that as well I mean for longer period of time if you really want um, yeah so cool I mean um, that's awesome um, so in this particular part we actually went through resizing and some of the other special effects 
changing the audio of a clip and setting the audio of a clip, uh, setting a video, setting audio of a video clip uh, by our choice. And we also saw how we can uh, get the combination of different uh, video clips together using concatenate clips. Concatenate clips is a linear kind of uh, concatenation and it has certain limitations that are resolved by a clips array. Um, and then uh, we can have a much more powerful class as composite uh, video file, which has uh, a lot of, uh, lot of other benefits of um, displaying different clips in different positions and uh, in different fonts and, in, and floating and something like that. So yeah, in the, in the next part, uh, I'll be actually going through um, the custom, uh, going through building a custom animation. For example, what if you want to build a GIF animation of some plot? Um, we will see how to work with, how to actually make plots from Matplotlib and how different plots they can be combined together to make a GIF file or a video file, whatever uh, we really want for our presentation, for somewhere else and stuff like so. So hope to see you in the next part of this video series.